Hello and welcome to another Camrider Complete Selection Modification Review CSM. This is the end driver and the end belt. Uh, after <laughs> a pretty big delay, we finally got it. And speaking of delays, Bandai has delayed my uh, Camrider Gaiden 2 Lock Seed and Dark Arrow set to April. And the Japanese people already have it. And uh, anyway, this is packaged just like the Decca driver, the CSM, and most other CSM stuff. Pretty big size box, cover box holding it all in. And uh, I, because I purchased two copies of this one, uh, helped my friend buying it from the Hong Kong website. There's actually a bigger cardboard box holding two of these boxes inside. If you buy just one of these, then you know you just get this as a little thing stamped on top. <coughs> Tape goes all the way around. You pull this up, and it's got this tissue paper holding the DN box inside. The back of the cardboard box has the same print and it's uh, the whole thing's pretty flimsy, uh, flimsy, it's not actually glued down or anything, it's only been taped down so as soon as you remove the tape it will start to fall off. Just like all the other CSM belts, the box looks absolutely gorgeous. You have a very close up shot of DN's armor right there with the logos in the corner. It just looks very fancy, it's got the whole high class toy effect going on. The back of the box right here showcases all the different languages that it'll ship to. You've got Chinese, English, uh, Japanese, English also for Hong Kong, and uh, as well as Korean, because the other CSM was sold on, uh, in all these Asian countries. And on the side of the box right here, you do get the DN barcode going down the side, like so, just like the decayed box. When you remove the top layer of the box, you get another cover here. This time without any Bandai or Tori logos. It's just the logo of DN himself with the name DN Driver and DN Belt. You got him doing a little pose as well as a very nice little DN style logo ring going around the outside of the box. This box, unlike the Decca Driver box, is a bit different. It's actually more similar to the uh, Capito style box. That's my receipt. So that's kind of cool. Once you open the box inside, whoops, those are the other spare cards. You can also get the instruction manual and such. You got the advert for the Gatak driver and uh, Hyper Sector coming soon. Of course, this advert made more sense if this was shipped in the original date. Uh, I don't uh, think you can still order. No, no, I don't think you can order those two anymore. It might be on the last few days. And of course, you have a Japanese sheet here, warnings and stuff. If you do want to take a close look at all of this stuff, you can head over to the uh, Facebook page or Flickr page in the video description below. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the actual instructions sheet. This side is in China, no, Japanese. This side is in Chinese and English. I think it's, yeah, traditional Chinese. And of course, you have the. Uh, Oh, that's Taiwan Chinese for some reason. I don't know how much that's going to actually be different, but anyway, you got the uh, Hong Kong Chinese here, as well as, uh, well, Korean. Hmm. And finally, inside the main box, you have a lot of polystyrene. You have the DN driver itself, a whole stack of cards right here. You got the back belt buckle. You know the back strap. You got the card holder that goes on the belt. The two belts, one side, one side. You know, uh, each side of the belt underneath there. And of course, you have the DN buckle itself. Just remove this, pull all the bits out that you want to mess around with, and um, remove them from the plastic bags. First, here we have the belt straps on each side. Uh, very thick rubbery plastic here with a nice strap going through the inside. It is literally identical to the Decker Driver CSM's belt. The only difference I can tell really, you can see there on the clip, the Decker Driver uses white clips, whereas the DN one uses black clips. Like so. They are compatible with each other, you know, you can swap them in and out. So if you do have the CSM Deco driver and the DN driver, you can probably keep these as spare if you're not going to use them at the same time. Same goes with the back piece on the belt. Again, they are completely identical. If you compare this to the DX version, I had the DX um, Deco driver. The DX DN gun, of course, did not come with a belt, but the Deco driver one is a bit bigger and chunkier and of course it's just a standard grey plastic whereas these ones they uh, actually have a velcro strap or you know magic strip some people call these and um, 
you know, got the whole back and everything. And uh, yeah, they were the pretty solid pieces of plastic. I feel safe, you know, cosplaying in these. I don't think these will break at all. You also have your DN's card holder that goes inside of his strap. It is very secure. Well, you know, quite secure. I fill this up with cards. And just like the back piece, you have a nice thick Velcro strap here to strap this onto the side of the belt. And this thing can hold about 19 cards comfortably. You can stick a 20th one in there, but then it starts rubbing hard against the plastic and you might start scratching your cards if you do that. So 19 cards is what you want to go with. There's a very nice logo pattern there, with a very nice you know, surface going around the logo. And inside there you do get, you see a little bit of a rubbing pattern inside there, just to give it a little bit more detail. The control pins, like the connecting pins right there, is made with metal, so that's that's good. It means it's going to be very durable. And then you have the DN stack of cards. I'll take a closer look at these in a moment, but for some reason they package these each with a white card going in the, between each of these cards for some reason. Uh, they didn't do that with the Decker driver, I didn't have too many problems with that, but maybe these were in storage for a longer time, they didn't want these plastic cards to stick together, maybe? I'm not quite sure how to tell these. But if you have ever used it, of course these are identical uh, in quality to the CSM Decker driver or the Super Best Selection uh, DX toys with the plastic cards in them as well. So if you have any of those, you know what to expect right here. Just to quickly name all of the cards, uh, I will not go through all the sounds in this video, that will be a demo video that I will also be uploading on this channel. So if you just want to hear the sounds, you can check out that video. Here, we're just gonna, I'll demonstrate a few of them, just to get across the review of this toy. But the cards you get are, coming right, DN, DN Complete, G3, G4, Oja, Scissors, Guy, Raya, Ryuga, Femi, Riot Troopers, Kaiser, Delta, Zyga, Orga, Gaiv Ibuki, Todoroki, Zangi, Kabuki, Kokosas, Kentaos, Hikipos, Hercules, Drake, Sasword, Punch Hopper, Igza, Ray, Saga, Ark, Skull again. The Skull card is a little bit different to the DK one. This one looks more like an actual normal Kamerad card, whereas the DK one, the summoning card, the DK one. Uh, looks has a little purple outline, looks like an actual Henshin card, and uh, maybe looks more like the card that uh, Skull actually gives to DK in the film. I can't remember which one's which. You have the Monster Kaijin card from the Shinkenja crossover episode, crossover episode, the different logo on the back. Blast, Cross Attack, Barrier, Illusion, Invisible, Gigshuban, Attack Ride card, and of course, Final Attack Rido DDDDDN. And just a reminder, if you did get the DN binder, you get the upgraded DN card, which is the same barcode here, makes the exact same noise as the normal DN card, which is fine because that's what it is in the TV series. And if you bought the uh, DK binder and the CSM DK by the same time, you get Attack Right DN card. This looks like the Come Right DN, but it says Attack Right DN for some reason. And of course, you have these two Kaijin cards of Moose Farang Farangai and Eagle Undead. These, of course, go with the monster. The end card uh, that came with this set. So, if you're missing those cards, you can check out my Facebook page where I have actually scanned these and I will be scanning the rest of the DN cards and putting them on there. So, if you're missing those, you can pick those up. Uh, you, you cannot get these separately right now, but you can get the DK CSM card separately from the DX toy if you want to. Next you have the DN buckle, which uh, for the most part the base is identical to the DECA CSM belt. And just in case you don't believe me, look at the back, it's got the same molds. That one says 2015, that one says 2014, but apart from that it's the same, the same screw holes and everything. On the front here, a little bit different difference. Here you have DK sketched into the thing. Whereas the, the DX version just has the black words printed there, so actually this one, this mold's closer to the DX version as well, because this, this area is just flat. This can still open, and you can remove the DN plate, kind of roughly, from this base. And then you see it's got a full back and everything. And if you remember my review of the uh, custom piece, this is a little bit different from the customer's 
uh, customizers who made a DN cover for the DX Deco driver and that's that one just has flat DK logo on the front whereas you can see here you have transparent plastic as well as a glitter plastic that's hidden underneath this transparent DN logo which um, does look pretty nice and of course like I said the bottom here is completely the same uh, even though you're not supposed to open this at all they did pr uh, paint this sort of red effect underneath so again, if you don't mind the DK logo not being there, you can use this actual buckle as a spare maybe if, you know, whatever, whichever one breaks or whatever. And if you do have the DX version, then yay for you, you got another one of those. Finally here you have the star of the box, the DN driver itself, CSM version. From what I can see online, the size and for the most part the plastic is the same as the DX version. You got the power buttons in the same place because this button is now black, I think the DX version was red. And all the screw holes on the back are not covered at all. So that's a bit of a disappointment, one would think that these would be a little bit different. Uh, the Kabuto Sector CSM version is a little bit different from the DX one in that a lot of the screw holes are, you know, covered up and the handle being metal and some and stuff. And so here is a lot of screws still showing up. Uh, the peg here, push that down, you slide this compart this door down and you put two AAA batteries inside. That's all it requires, just like the DX version. On the front here, there's no, there's no difference, of course, these two metal tips right there, the ends right there. Uh, these two round bits are die cast metal to give it a little bit more weight on the front and that's good but apart from that the rest of it looks pretty much the same as the DX version you got all these plastic molding lines all over the place so unlike the Decker driver this in terms of look is not a huge improvement however the huge improvement does come with the sound effects and the loudness of it and of course the barcode reader that's hidden inside here so I'm going to switch this on here Let's do that again. So, being a die cast tip, there are no LED lights on the front right there. So, all the lights are down here, and the speaker is right there. So, when you're holding it like this, you should be able to hear it quite clearly because it's directly facing you. You can rapid fire quite easily as the button is pushed down, you can just let it to go gently enough for it to uh, do a rapid fire. That's pretty good. Another thing that's really nice that you can do, just like in the show, the and sometimes tensions like that, with just pulling this aside. Or you can flick it and you should be able to engine that way. Um, if it flicks too fast, then of course it doesn't read the barcode, but for a lot of time, just do a little bit of practice, and with the die cast metal on front, it makes it is quite easy after some practice to, to do the engine that way. Oh. They're not doing it forward anymore. Side, sideways, there you go. And in terms of the button, uh, when you put the card in, pull this forward, that's when the barcode gets red. Uh, and when you push this back, um, all the functions don't stop. Like if you push the trigger on our, until right up here, it still doesn't stop, but you hear a click, that's when it activates the second sound. So for the most part, it can go all the way and you can do that and it'll still carry on doing the henshin sound or attack right or whatever. So let's try a card just out of my hand. I'm going to put this DN card, of course, in there. Remember, there's a little spring-loaded plate right here, so you're gonna have to do like that, push it down and slide the card in. And shin. Much like the DX version, you can fit three cards in here. And cause one more. Here's a demo, just one more of the other unique sounds on this.
Just like the DX Decker driver and the CSM Decker driver, it can still read all of the hidden sounds or special card sounds that you won't think would be in this toy, for example. The test sounds on the Decker driver. Special form rides, as well as hidden card sounds that will never release as physical cards as well. However, there are certain cards that the CSM and DX driver can read, the Decker driver, but this one can't read. For example, the test card that should do all the sounds of just the henshin noises of the Heisei riders without calling out the names in a row. Of course, there are no henshin noises of any other rider in this, you know, DN driver, so those cards do not work. They simply give out an error message. For a lot of people, myself included, this is what this gun feels like what the DX gun should have been. You gotta remember, even though Gunrunner DK came out in 2009, for the, in terms of the toys, they've changed a lot since then. Since then, the secondary rider belts and engine devices these days, they all feature a lot of functionality, as well as a combination of functionality with the gadgets that they use combined or swapping around with the first main rider of the show. For example, drive shift cars can work, in uh, Mark's little you know, driver and vice versa or some of them at least would do some sort of noise or acknowledgement of them in the chase gunner for example back in decades time and before that there wasn't really that much compatibility in between you know for the secondary riders engine device in fact the DN gun was such a disappointment DX belt uh, toy that uh, even the guy memory the DN guy memory actually had more sounds than the gun itself it was purely a cosmetic item and didn't have any barcode reader and instead cycled through three different sound effects uh, and DN Henshin noise attack ride and some sort of coming ride some sound I can't remember what it was, but uh, there you go. So this is what it should have been. Now, for the price this this going for, it is a little bit cheaper than the D Decker driver. However, in terms of functionality, it is still lacking in comparison. But that's because of how the character is designed and not the fault of the toy itself. Like I said, apart from DN's own henshin noise, the only other henshin noise in here is when the uh, monster uses it, where you have a deeper tone of the henshin noise. For everything else, it's all Kamen Rider. The name of the rider, a generic summoning sound, really. There's, of course, also the attack sound and for the attack rides, as well as the shooting sound. So that Apart from names, there's not actually too many sounds going on. However, it does feel like a DX toy of today where the secondary rider can acknowledge cards and stuff from the first rider and vice versa. So he can read almost all the cards from the CSM Deco driver as well as most of the normal generic Gamberide cards out there with the old barcodes. And uh, in terms of vice versa, the Deco driver can also read almost all of the cards uh, except for all the monster cards. Those just give an error message. And the Camerata DN attack ride barrier just gives up a generic sound instead of saying barrier. So apart from those, the DK, uh, Deco driver can also read pretty much all the cards. And so yeah, so if you have both of these, as well as getting these special cards by ordering the binder, the extra card pack, and the Deco driver, uh, driver at the same time, so you get these extra cards, um, well, these three extra, then you get the complete sound on both sides. And, you know, it's like, it's like one of those toys you get now that the more you get, the more fun that you can put together because they read each other's stuff. As for the looks of it itself, I do think it looks really good. Uh, it's what a DX should have been. It's just a few squirrels and stuff do a little bit annoying, but apart from that, the paint job overall is decent. Uh, I did check my friends. My friend's paint job was completely fine, but uh, the one I opened first, the DN logo right there, did have a tiny bit of blue splash along the line, so it's easy fix, but you know, a lot of these are hand finished, so there might be some bits that are uneven or not as good as some of the others out there, because you know, it's handmade. 
So, uh, this thing costs about 1,000 Hong Kong dollars from the b premium Bandai shop. Of course, if you're looking at this now, you're not going to get it from Bandai directly. You're going to be getting it through middleman service as well as paying postage. So just judge yourself to see if it's worth it uh, If after the markup price. Um, a lot of people in Hong Kong shops, at least, aren't marking it up too high at the moment because it's readily available. But uh, if you're buying from overseas, then you're going to have to go through certain online shops where it might be over marked up quite a bit. And being a Bandai Premium item, of course, the numbers will be to a certain extent limited. So if you are a DN fan or a DK fan, you definitely want to pick this up because you get more cards for your Decker driver. Uh, these nice plastic cards as well as having a pretty nice gun and a pretty nice DN belt buckle. Hmm, this is pretty good. And of course, like I said, if you do want to check out all the sound demos, <laughs> that's not the sound of my phone that in the background right there, uh, then you can check out the other videos I will be uploading here. I'll be uploading separate videos of the DN gun, just reading the cards from the DN gun that's pack itself as well as these extra cards in one go. DN card re uh, DN gun reading all the DK DK cards. DN gun reading the bonus and hidden cards as a separate thing, as well as a video of the Decker driver reading all of the DN cards that you can see right here. If you want to support this channel, please consider watching my other videos without ad block installed and you want to support me even further, you can consider heading over to the Patreon page where I can do more videos more often. I have also reviewed, of course, the Decker CSM driver as well as Super Best Selection, some, a lot of other DX toys, a lot of lock seats, and a lot of SH trick arts. So, if you love Kamen Rider, definitely check out all my other videos on this channel, Kamen Rider related, going all the way from candy toys, capsules to these expensive, more expensive and limited edition items. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day, try not to steal someone's ultimate treasure, and of course, Henshin.